Hey, what's up, YouTubers? In today's video, I will show you how to add highlights and shadows to your artwork in Adobe Illustrator. If you're new here and love tutorials about Adobe Illustrator or enjoy watching process videos, consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you never miss an upload. All right, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I've got three balls here and each one has a light source coming from a different direction. For this video, we're going to focus on the ball in the middle, where the light source is coming from the top right corner. That means the highlight will be on the top right side, and the shadow will fall on the bottom left side. Here's how we're going to recreate it. First, let's create a new document. I'll go with 1000 by 1000 pixels, a nice square canvas to work on. Once that's ready, rename the first layer to outline. Then, create a new layer, call it Color, and drag it below the outline layer. This keeps things organized. Remember to select the outline layer before going further. Now, let's set up the stroke. I'm giving it a 10-point thickness, removing the white fill, and sticking with a black stroke. Grab the Ellipse tool, and to create a perfect circle, hold down Option or Alt plus Shift as you drag it out in the center of the artboard. Next, we'll determine the light source. I'm going to draw arrow from the top right corner to show where the light is coming from. This will help us for adding highlights and shadows. Our next step will be to add our base color. First, go to our outline layer and select the little square and drag it down to the color layer while hold down Option or Alt. By that, we can copy all the objects in outline layer to the color layer. Now, I will lock the outline layer, since we will not deal anymore with that layer. Then I delete arrow in the color layer. Now, select the circle on the color layer, switch the stroke to a fill, and give it a vibrant color, something nice and bright. Here, I choose this yellow color. Since our light source is from the top right corner, that's where we'll add the highlight. First, Copy the circle and paste it right in front by using Command or Control plus C, then Command or Control plus F. Then, scale it down a bit and remove the fill and add light yellow color to stroke. Many illustrators like to use black and white, then add them down the opacity to make highlight and shadows for their illustrations but I'm not much of a fan of that since I find that it removes saturation from our illustration and give dull look to it. So here, I use light and dark variations of base color for creating highlight and shadows. To make the highlight more interesting, increase the stroke thickness to about 30 points. Now grab the direct selection tool and delete two anchor points on the circle to leave a nice crescent-shaped line. Then I activate rounded cap for the stroke. For a softer look, use the Width tool to make the middle part of the stroke thicker. Then, go to Object, Path, and Outline Stroke to convert the stroke into a shape. Finally, lower the opacity to around 50%. Now that we have our highlight, it's time to create a shadow. The shadow will be on the bottom left side of the ball. Here's what we do. Copy and paste the circle in front twice, so we have three overlapping circles. Move the top circle slightly to the upper right and scale it down a bit. Select the top and middle circles, then use the Shape Builder tool. Hold down Option or Alt and click to delete the unwanted sections, leaving a nice crescent shape at the bottom. Then. I use dark yellow color for the shape and bring down the opacity to 30%. That's how we can make shadow for the object. Lastly, the ball needs a cast shadow on the surface. Since the light is coming from the top right, the shadow will fall towards the bottom left. Use the same dark yellow, draw an oval shape, and lower its opacity. If you like, you can add a background color to finish our illustration.
And there you have it. A realistic ball with highlights and shadows that match the light source. Also, you can add multiple highlight and shadow layers if you want. Now, you can use these same steps to create highlights and shadows from different light angles. Give it a try and let me know in the comments how it worked out for you. Thanks for watching, and if you found this tutorial helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.